new environment this video is about to be so crazy because i never once thought i would want to do this what i mean go back to school for my master's in nursing my mind is blown i think i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna pull the trigger welcome back listen this video is something i never thought i would do i never thought i would create it is should i go back to get my msn my master's of science in nursing maybe maybe not let's talk about it this has been such a crazy ride i have been toying with this idea y'all for getting my masters for years now years is it time for me to really get my masters i don't know let's go through a couple reasons and or deterrents for returning back to school now if these apply to you please let me know go ahead and drop it in the comments below don't forget to hit subscribe and thumbs up this video it'll really help me grow my channel i went to school in 2011 um and i graduated from college in 2016 yes i know i did five years but at first i did not want to be a nurse well actually i wanted to be a teacher which progressed into me wanting to be a nurse later down the line. But in the beginning, like in the middle between me wanting to be a teacher and a nurse, I want to be a PA, a physician's assistant, which means I spent the first semester to semester and a half doing like a, doing um, the classes that were geared towards being a PA versus being a nurse. So they were still similar classes like the sciences and the maths, but then there were some things that didn't apply for nursing school, some classes that I took for the PA program that didn't actually apply for the nursing school like the prereqs. So that's why I ended up being in school an extra year. Although there might have been another reason. The other reason was because I really didn't have anywhere to go. Um, had I finished school in four years, I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have a job lines up or anything like that i house hop during the summer times um between each year each school year but that ended up having me do the like i said the five years which was fine i did three years of like prereq things like that so i ended up taking like health assessments and like just kind of like the crazy silly classes go to the gym and work out fine by me whatever um and then the last two years of course were my considered my two years in nursing school it's so funny though a lot of people don't think that i've been a nurse for almost seven years or actually seven years june 8th y'all was my seventh year anniversary of being a nurse um they're like oh my gosh you're so young you don't even look like you're your age and i'm like well you know some people actually there was one time this girl thought i was like 45 that was when i had the red hair and i'm like mm, i don't know she just really said that to play with me or what but she know dang well I don't look 45. Not shout out to all my 45 year old ladies, but she know dang well I wasn't 45. But she was she was trying to get under my skin. I didn't let her Lord. I didn't do that. No, I could have, but I did. Is it my mahogany skin or my youthful presence that confuses the? I don't know. We probably will never know why people think that I've not been a nurse for seven years. Ah, eh, it's all right. I just take it. It's a compliment. What have you? All right one potential deterrent could be tuition um i know for me it's definitely a reason why i haven't been back to school because your girl <laughs> your girl still has student loans from her bsn so why would i go back to school for my msn and cure more damages nah i've been paying on my student loans for almost seven years y'all or for seven years now um and I barely made a dent. I still have like 26 grand left and I think I started with 34, 34, 35 grand, which is still a decrease. Don't get me wrong. Thank you, Lord. But it's been almost a decade and I'm barely down $10,000. Like, what? So that has been one of the reasons. Now, I know we can get like scholarships and grants and if you're a veteran, you can get certain um you know monies and things like that for, for you but i'm not a veteran i don't have well i do have people in my family that are veterans but not like my immediate family so i wouldn't definitely qualify for those types of things i definitely would not go through the loan option again like i just can't I, i'm just done with loans like i can't do the fafsa and get the student aid and do all the things 
no. If I'm going to go back to school for my MSN, which the Likert scale, I'm leaning more towards the yes <laughs> than a no. But I'm just going to have to pay for it out of pocket. But I will say, you, where I work, you do get tuition reimbursement. So, you know, that may be something you need to look into. If your employer, where you're working now with, you know, for even if you're, in, in, if you have your um, ADN and you want to get your BSN, look to see what your employer, look to see if your employer offers tuition reimbursement. Where I work, I think it's $4,000 a year. I hope it's a semester because it'll be kind of crappy if it's just a year because we know classes are, even if you're doing it part-time, it'll probably equal $3,000, $3,500, maybe even upwards of $4,000 a semester. So if you're talking about just paying only $4,000 for a year, that means that second semester I'm paying out of pocket. That's a no-go. But your tuition reimbursement, like what typically happens is you will um, apply for the school that you want, you will get accepted into it, and then you will also then apply to your program, your tuition reimbursement program at your um, employer. I'm not sure of the nitty gritty of how exactly it works. I think that your employer will pay you, cut you a check, and then you will pay that to the school and whatever the difference is, you just shoot it back to your employer. But it's probably different couple ways that it can happen just make sure you keep your receipts you keep your documentation keep your records um, in a safe place somewhere that you can access it whenever you need it because you're gonna have to show some type of record some type of document that you of course attended this school you did these classes it cost this much X Y and Z possible deterrent or you know reason if you will depends on how you're looking at it, whether you're being a positive person or a negative person could be your family I'm going to encompass it all meaning caring for your spouse caring for your children maybe you're the sole breadwinner maybe you are a single parent maybe you're caring for your own parents and they're living at home with you because they're elderly or they're sick and then if you are a single parent most likely you're the one that's working you're having to bring home money some type of way so how are you going to go to school part-time um hopefully not full-time but girl if you can do if you can <coughs> the hell you can go to school full-time and work full-time and take care of your babies and your home and all that more power to you i know i can't Y'all, when I was getting my BSN, I had to quit my job. I was a housekeeper for La Quinta Inn uh, the semester before I started college. I had to quit my job because, number one, for that summertime, I didn't have enough money saved up to get my own apartment. So I had to move out of the dorms in May. But then, number two, I knew I couldn't sustain having a position at, any, well, anywhere, and go to school, nursing school as well. Like, that's just, I, I just knew that wasn't for me. But if that's something that y'all can do, please do it. And don't feel bad if you have to go part-time to school. Like, because that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm, I am going to have to go to, par to school part-time. And I don't have children. My husband has children. So I have stepchildren, but they don't live with us. So I don't have that responsibility. My husband is the one who does all the cooking. He tries to clean, but, you know, a man can't clean that well. So I do the cleaning. But I, I don't have that much responsibility. And maybe because I lived a hard life growing up and God is shining his little lights on me and making sure that I'm just, you know, squeaky clean and ready for his love and everything. So maybe that's the reason. But I don't have like the true picture of needing to take care of an entire family. Last point as far as like the family part is know what program or what like lifestyle works for you. So if you know you're going to go to school part time, well, are you going to go to school online are you going to do a hybrid are you going to do in-person classes for me i would personally want to do online the entire time that's just me hybrid i would do that if i needed to go to campus maybe once a month maybe once every two months or maybe like once per class some, some classes are eight weeks long so you know two months so that would be okay but i would prefer to just do you know strictly online so i don't have to deal with nobody because I just want to be at home, in the bed, watching TV, reading a book, drinking coffee. That's the lifestyle I want to live, honey. <laughs> good thing, or not so good thing, depends on how you're looking at it. So I'm going to say it in two different ways. So it could be an increase in your salary, an increase in your position. So if you're needing to go back to school to get a raise, to get a higher role or higher status where you are, that could be great. If you're looking to get an extra 20 k or 25k a year which is great 
that will be a good reason to go back to get your to your master's or go back to get your you know your bachelor's if you're on only ABN. But the issue comes when you go to school and you pay this extra twenty twenty five thousand dollars for your next level d degree and you only make at that new position five maybe extra ten thousand dollars a year it's like i don't spend 25k to make five thousand dollars the math is not adding up so i think that might be you know a double-edged sword a double-edged sword sword a double whatever that would be a little bit tricky um, so that's something that you probably have to look into just to make sure that you're the position you're vying for and you're trying to get you will actually be compensated and the time that you spent in school will actually count and matter and and be a progression towards your goals versus you kind of just only hitting the bare minimum still with a different degree and potentially extra student loans now i already told y'all i want to just be in my bed watching tv reading a book drinking coffee so not that I'm lazy, but I'm a little bit lazy. I'm a bit complacent. I'm only complacent because I just got promoted a couple weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, to a new position at my current job, which is awesome. It's so great. But I got promoted doing something that I thoroughly enjoy, which is teaching and educating our new residents, our new staff. But I got promoted without my master's. If I could do that without getting my master's and I'm doing something that truly brings me joy it's like why do I want to go back to school last point and I promise I will leave this y'all where I land where it lands pray about it if it is not sanctioned by God baby I don't want it so you have to be steadfast in what it is that you want in life if you want to go back to school to get your higher degree to continue to learn and develop professionally then baby do it throw all your woes up to god i think i said that in a couple videos back but throw all your woes up to god ask him to lead you in the right direction another caveat do not compare yourself to people who are doing the things that you want to do in life because that is a recipe for disaster i heard this quote somewhere and i forget who said it or where i heard it from but it says comparison steals the joy of god's plans that he has for you so if what you're doing is comparing yourself to other people all their qualities and their great attributes and what have you which you have no idea how they got there what they what it took for them to get there and you're comparing yourself to them you're doing yourself a disservice and you're not walking in faith and, and in God's honor. I'm not going to go too deep with it. Y'all know how I am about my Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, and his Father, God, my Father, God. I'm not going to do it. But y'all know I'm right. All right. Go over to frn underscore org on Instagram. This is my Instagram page. I have tips and tricks and jewels and things like that for you. And also... <laughs> and also go over to frn.org that is my website i have great things on there i also have a couple pdfs that are downloadable for new nurses or people who are thinking about becoming a nurse so go ahead and go over there i would truly appreciate it if you haven't already please drop a comment below like subscribe do your thug fizzle all right i will see you in this video next